Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm here at the Diplomatic Academy of Vienna where I'm a second year student in the MICE program. In this video I'm going to be asking my peers, my colleagues, what their experience has been up to now and what their impressions of the DA are after oh, one year and a couple of months of studying here. I hope this video is going to be helpful to you in deciding whether you want to apply here, whether you want to study here. So make sure to like this video and let's get right into it. Hello, uh, my name is Mathieu Olivier Mbala. I'm from Cameroon. Previously, I studied German in Yaoundé at the University of Yaoundé One. I decided to come to the DA uh, because of um, several reasons. First of all, the DA is the oldest um, diplomatic school in the world, but also uh, because of um, the influence of Austria, the history of uh, the diplomatic culture. Uh, we know about the, the Wiener Congress and also a lot of other treaties that were signed in, in Austria. And also um, Wiener uh, is the headquarters of um, the UN. Uh, these are some um, factors that motivated me to choosing the Diplomatic Academy. But uh, related to the, the, the programs, the academic programs, I really appreciated uh, the interdisciplinary approach which is um, uh, put forward here and which also met my, my expectations and this is the reason why I chose the Diplomatic Academy. I'm Luca, I'm from Slovenia. Uh, I finished my bachelor's studies at the University of Ljubljana and I studied international relations and uh, the first thing that comes to my mind for why I chose the DA is interdisciplinary approach from uh, various perspectives, history, economics and political science. Um, and I knew that I could structure my studies around in-depth analysis of European foreign policy. Hi, my name is Francesca. I'm originally British and Polish, but I grew up in Luxembourg. And before coming to the DA, I studied philosophy, politics and economics at the University of Oxford. I chose to come to the DA mainly, first of all, because I really love Vienna and I've always wanted to live in Vienna for a while and of course also because of the DA itself and the fact that it's an international community. Yeah, what really appeals to me about the DA is that it's an international community so I've met many people here who, um, like me, have parents from different countries and grew up in another country and have really international backgrounds and it's just such a rich community and so many interesting people here. Hello, I'm Gabriel. I'm from Italy, from Torino, in the northwest of the country. I studied uh, for my Bachelor of International Studies at the University College in Maastricht, in the Netherlands. Um, it was an interdisciplinary program, just like the DA. Um, and there I focus on international relations, environmental studies, um, foreign policy, uh, political science, and much, much more. Um, I chose to uh, come to the DA because I wanted to keep the interdisciplinarity of my university studies. I think it's the best way, if you want to work in this field of international relations, to have different views from different um, disciplines and fields of study. Um, and the DA was one of the few programs that actually offered such a perspective in Europe. Um, other programs do exist, obviously, programs in London or Paris, but I also wanted to experience um, a city like Vienna, so more mid-size, where there are more opportunities to do things outside um, and where it's maybe easier to make connections uh, with people. And the DA offered a very good um, uh, curriculum uh, with lots of different courses that are super interesting to me, especially with a focus specifically on EU studies, which, was, uh, which is what I want to um, do for my future career. I am from Austria, born in Germany. I have studied applied foreign languages before, which is a, a study uh, offered in France. I chose the DA because I was always interested in history and international relations, and I've always had the DA somewhere on my mind, on my list. Once I left for France, I kind of discarded the DA for a while, and then uh, when I got to finish my bachelor's degree, uh, it got back onto my uh, uh, mind and I thought 
be a great opportunity to be back in Austria and near family and also to study international relations. I'm from the UK um, and I studied history and politics at Oxford. I chose the DA to get some more interdisciplinarity in, in a master's course um, to kind of broaden my intellectual horizons and kind of get those skills that, that, that could be useful for, for an international career. Um, my favourite subject, wow, um, there are so many <laughs> and that uh, also kind of ties into why I wanted to study at the DA. It's just so flexible and there are so many subjects to choose from. Uh, so since coming here I've studied such a broad range um, of different things and it's really hard to say what my favourite subject is. I think there are different um, elements of different subjects which really appeal to me so there are some courses which have been really informative for example the law courses I never studied law uh, before coming to the DA and um, I've really learned a lot from those whereas um, some other courses uh, such as the, the seminars where you can write a paper have really given me the opportunity to go into uh, different things that I've studied before and explore them in more detail and really think about what I'm actually interested in. Since I focus on EU studies, I guess all the courses related to the EU are my favorite subject. I'm doing EU economics at the moment and I'm really liking it a lot. I have not uh, majored in economics in the past um, and I've only taken the basic courses at the DA, which are really useful actually to uh, introduce me to this complicated world. And now that I'm focusing on the specifics of uh, the EU economy and EU trade, I'm really appreciating the focus on, on this uh, subject. In terms of core courses, of course, the history class was my favorite because I've always been a bit of a history geek and the professor is really, really good in going through the entire range of events and causes and consequences from the Napoleonic period to the Second World War. When it comes to what I like the least, I'm not a big fan of international law. I find it a bit dry and I took a course in UN law just because I thought, well, if I have to work for the UN at some point in the future, it's important to also know something about the functioning and the specifics of UN law. But I have to say I kind of regret a bit the decision. It was a very tough course and most of the time I struggled to understand what the professor was explaining. Um, overall it was not like a catastrophe sort of saying, but I think if I could go back I might not take it. I think my favorite subject last year was actually economics because I don't have a background in economics and it really helped me to understand principles of economics like it's called, understand better how our economy is functioning, theoretical uh, framework our uh, economy is set in. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. My favorite subject uh, here was uh, international economics because of the personality of the, the teacher, Professor Neudek. Also his way of, of uh, teaching because of the significance of economics in our daily lives, uh, I think economy is more related to, to our daily lives and we need to understand the principles uh, which uh, underlie um, our, our way of making choice and also of, be of behaving. I think economics also because I uh, had very good grades in, in, in that subject and I think as a student we need to have good grades. Favorite, favorite, favorite subject for the first year was yeah, the Corn Props Advanced course in Writing International Relations, which was a theory-based course. In relation to that course was Lacanya's uh, Practices in Diplomacy. An overall uh, core course was the Rose History course, which was a great course. Vienna is a very livable city um, and moving here from abroad was um, uncomplicated and I found the process of registering here easy um, despite Brexit actually um, so I've encountered no real difficulties living here. Uh, so I really wanted to live on campus that was another thing that appealed to me about the DA when I was applying here the rooms looked really nice and the location and the, the price and um, as I expected the room is incredibly nice, it's very spacious and has a nice wooden floor, a private shower 
and um, yeah, nice, very nice views of the DA garden and it's fantastic to be surrounded by so many people. Uh, it really helps you to make friends straight away and it made my time here so nice from the beginning, even with COVID happening and um, different events being cancelled or um, not allowed, it still meant that I could make friends straight away. It's of course very convenient, uh, you can wake up and, and go straight to breakfast or go straight to class if you need to, uh, it gives you a lot of flexibility and you're also so close to the centre of Vienna, to the opera, to the, the U-Bahn, it's really um, a great location. One difficulty I think is the kitchen, so um, on the third floor we have a very limited kitchen uh, and it's not much to share with um, 20 people, um, but yeah, we, we manage and it's also been a bonding experience. I'm a permanent resident here, so I live on campus and uh, I think it's, it's um, quite interesting because I have access to almost all the services and facilities which the DA offers to students. Uh, I don't need to pay transport. Uh, I also have access to uh, the reading rooms, to the libraries, uh, but also uh, and most uh, importantly to the tipsy, the tipsy visa, which is the DA's bar. We used to, to meet up there with other colleagues uh, to party a bit, to watch movies and so, uh, to have fun. Uh, uh, in a single word, so uh, this is what I uh, enjoy most uh, as a DS permanent resident. Well, accommodation on campus is great. I've stayed here for the first year and I plan, and I, and I plan to stay here for the second year and that's uh, uh, why I'm still at the DA, uh, living at the DA. Um, perhaps the cooking situation is not uh, ideal, uh, but we make it work. Uh, it's, it's a specific situation in the, uh, in the, in the third floor. Uh, which uh, makes the experience uh, even more genuine. <laughs> I decided not to actually live on campus um, because in my previous studies I lived for four months on a university campus when I did my uh, exchange program in the US and although I really enjoyed the close-knit community that that provided I also thought it's much better to live on your own or maybe with potential friends that you are gonna meet there um, and that's why I prefer to uh, not enter the DA building as a resident but just as a student on a daily basis. I still spend a lot of time uh, in the building for classes or for meeting friends so I still get some of the experience that, these, um, that the people that live there um, have but I do not uh, live on campus. Um, but Vienna it's a great place to live. Um, it's not too difficult to find places here because it's a very vibrant city, it's quite big, it has plenty of students also international um, coming from all over Europe and beyond. Um, and I love this city because well it reminds me of my hometown as well. Um, I adore the fact that it has so many parks and um, spots uh, in nature where you can go and relax. The Donau, the hills, the Wienerwald, um, and it's also very close to the Alps. Um, I'm a big hiker fan um, and it's amazing to just jump on a train or if you have a car, drive somewhere um, and go for, for a hike in the mountains. Um, it's also plen there's plenty of cafes and restaurants and cool spots where you can study, meet friends, go for parties, um, enjoy nightlife. So it's really an accessible city for everyone and I'm super glad that I moved here. Yeah, the DA has a great, DA, DA's community is great. Um, perhaps there are a lot of um, ideas before um, people maybe had a lot of ideas before coming to the DA of, um, of a certain kind of person being a student here, um, but I think you find pretty much a very diverse range of interest, which is to me a very diverse range of interest is a thing that I was most surprised of. Um, that people come here from, first of all, very different backgrounds, and what you get out of the community because of that is a sense of learning from your colleagues, um, sometimes even more than you learn from the, the official faculty staff, um, which is an amazing benefit um, when you're trying to expand your own horizon. Um, and this is one thing that I've really benefited from was 
talking to, to my peers about stuff I'm interested in and getting their perspectives on what I'm interested in and that benefit, that, that benefit me greatly. You know. uh, the DA is a good place uh, since I was uh, also able to make uh, friendships here. So I met a lot of people coming from different countries. I uh, met people who, who speak different languages. I could practice my, my, my language skills, for instance, uh, when it comes to, 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 to German. But um, also I uh, had the opportunity of, of getting involved in, in, in study groups and also of uh, uh, partying with people, as I said, uh, at the Tipsy. And I think I will always remember this uh, unique experience uh, since I'm in my final year uh, at the DA. I might too right now and uh, probably uh, next year I won't be here so I, I, I will remember this unique uh, experience. So when I applied to the DA I, I kind of had a fear that it could have been a bit of a elitist um, university after all like the name diplomatic academy sounded a bit um pompous to me um but and i was afraid that making friends could have been complicated but actually it was anything but that um of course the COVID pandemic did not help in that regard but the good thing is that the first month we were able to uh, actually participate in classes and attend social events um, and it was really easy actually to make connections, uh, specifically in the first week. Uh, we had plenty of parties, um, the walk in the vineyards, other occasions to celebrate the beginning of the academic year. Um, and the people I met were super down to earth. They were a very international bunch, um, super kind and really interested in what you actually, like the person that you wear, your passions, your interests. The great thing about a place like the DA is that so many people share similar um, uh, hobbies and, and have similar passions in life. So you do have plenty to talk about um, and there are lots of activities that you can do together. Of course, then when we went into lockdown, it was not as easy to meet people, but actually the fact that we were able to make friends so quickly in just a short time, uh, peer, time frame really allowed me to then carry on with those friendships and bring them to, a, uh, to another level in the following months, even though we were not attending uh, classes in person anymore. Um, and then once the lockdown was eased again, it was actually amazing to, you know, be able to be allowed to do things outside with all the people that we met um, at the DA. So I would definitely uh, uh, say that if you think that the DA might not be the place right for you because you are afraid of not making good connections or that the people might be too posh, uh, I can assure you it's really not like that. Making friends at the DA was actually very easy and uh, it came very naturally. Uh, just arriving here, everyone is new and uh, you're all in the same situation and everyone was super welcoming, also our um, year two students back then. So it's a tradition that's being passed on every year, welcome to next year very, uh, in a very friendly way and uh, you will see that you will make friends in no time. Because the DA is a small campus, I think it has quite an intimate atmosphere. I think in a normal teaching year, then you bond and, and make friends very, very quickly. Um, even despite COVID and the lockdown that we had in uh, 2021, um, it was not difficult to, to make friends. My first impression of the people here was that everyone was so nice and so easy to talk to. Uh, and when I came here, I heard yeah, different worries that people had had before coming here about it being uh, an exclusive or sort of unfriendly place, but I, I didn't have that impression at all. And people have come from such a range of academic and geographic and cultural backgrounds that there's just so much to learn from everyone and everyone just brings something to the community and it's, it's really easy to, to make friends. It's, it's been really interesting to, to get to know the Austrian students on the one hand and make friends who know a lot about Austria and to learn more about Austrian culture, but also to meet so many international students. In terms of societies, although it's a small community, the societies are, um, are plentiful. Uh, this year I'm the president of the Sports Society um, so it's really nice to run weekly sports and to organise the ski trip which is also a, a DA tradition every January. 
I'd say the most fun memory um, is possibly the vineyard walk, which takes place before the start of the academic uh, year every year. And this year it was very special because um, we were coming out of a year full of corona, corona, sorry, um, restrictions. Um, and we were kind of, it was the first time we all came together again and we had the vineyard walk and then we had the kind of party afterwards and it had a really special atmosphere. So I'd say that's a, that's a highlight of the year. Hopefully the ski trip will be a, um, a highlight as well. Um, but the memories, are, there are lots of good memories every week, I would say, but those are two standout ones. So at DA there are plenty of societies and uh, groups that you can join. They have sort of different activities and they span from very different uh, areas and interests, so there is really something for everyone. Um, there is a sports society um, which organizes a skiing trip um, and I'm definitely part of that because, you know, skiing. I mean, one of the reasons I came to Austria is also um, that I could go to the Alps whenever I wanted. Um, then we have societies that are more related to the academic life or to, you know, like academia in general, um, such as the Society for International Security um, Studies, which I'm also a member of. Um, and organizes conferences, um, visits to institutions such as like the Defense Ministry or the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. Um, then we have societies linked to languages, so Le Cercle for uh, French, um, the Spanish uh, society, um, that of course are not just targeting um, native speakers, but most importantly they try to um, collect uh, people from different linguistic backgrounds and expand um, uh, linguistic knowledge but also just a great forum to, to make new friends. Um, we also have societies linked to polemics, um, which is the journal of the DA. I was an editor last year and I would definitely recommend being part of the team because um, it's such an interesting insight into how journalism, sort of, and editor editing um, uh, works. Um, and then, I mean, the list is so long that I cannot even recall them all. Um, but these are the societies that I have had experience with in the past, and I would definitely recommend in joining um, any group that you can think about, especially at the beginning. It's really a great way to meet new people and make connections. Um, and when it comes to, well, good memories, I have to say there were so many that it's impossible to pick one and just describe it to you. Um, but I think it's really awesome that the people that you meet here, you do not meet, only meet at the DA, but you can do plenty of stuff with them together. And not just in Vienna, but also abroad. I went on some wonderful weekends um, with some friends here, um, and we did plenty of dinners and um, cycling tours, hiking. It's really not about just, you know, the academic part of your university that matters, but it's more the social um, stuff that counts. And then, of course, I mean, if we have to talk about uh, specific occasions at the DA building, then obviously the Tipsy Thursday is one of them, as I'm sure other people will also tell you. Um, just two weeks ago, we had an Halloween party and it was pretty lit. So I'm on the board of a music society where I lead the choir this year and currently we're working on the a Christmas choir which is also a tradition for the Christmas party that we're going to have and also at the ball we're going to sing and uh, we're also organizing excursions like concerts for example with the society and I'm really enjoying that role and there are loads of other societies that we can uh, get involved in. As a DS students, you also have uh, the opportunity to get involved in, in several societies and uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I am uh, part of the Ubuntu community, which actually the community of uh, DS African students and um, I, 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 I have been a member of this community since last year. Uh, and I also had the opportunity of learning a lot how to organize conferences. Uh, for instance, the one I, I, I organized last year on the occasion of the Africa Day, uh, I'm planning to, to do the same this year with the, the, the newcomers from Africa, but also with the, the whole DA community, including those who are not from Africa, but who are interested in what is happening on the continent, uh, I will be happy to welcome you as well, all those who are now studying at the DA as well as those who are still abroad but planning to come to the DA. 
uh, don't uh, forget to, to join not only the Africa, the, the Ubuntu community, which is one of the the, 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 the numerous uh, communities who are here. Get involved uh, in uh, several societies, don't be shy. It's important for your career as well. A society is actively involved in. Um, well, in second year, I take care of this place, which is the library. Um, and I don't have much time to be really involved in, in, in societies. But um, as my first year, I, I've written stuff and edited um, pieces for, for the polemics, which is a, a, a nice, uh, a nice um, how to say, it's a nice venue for, um, for, the, um, for the students that want to uh, contribute something in, in, the, in the writing form. Um, it's also a, it's also nice because you can use it for different um, perspectives on writing, which is not only scholarly writing, but you kind of get the idea of of, of writing um, um, in a different way. Um, and also, I mean, just um, to say it more broadly, I think DA has more than 10, 12 societies that uh, you can join. Um, and the idea is to see what you like and see what you don't like and try to combine as many as you can and see and see how they benefit and uh, benefit from each other um, and maybe even make your own. Uh, so if you're thinking of applying to the DA, I really recommend uh, looking at the list of courses that are available at the DA. Uh, that's what I spent a lot of time doing before I applied here and that way you can really uh, see what the DA has to offer and if it's for you and sort of what you'd be interested in and this is also something you can talk about in your application uh, to show that you've really looked into it and that you're really enthusiastic about coming here. Um, another thing you can do if you want to know more about what it's actually like at the DA is you can try and get in touch with current or former students, um, for example on LinkedIn or by watching videos like this one. <laughs> the, the DA actually has um, a lot on its website about what it's like to study here, which I missed when, when I was thinking of applying here. Um, and like, check out the DA's Instagram account, which really gives an insight into different events that are happening here and what the community is like, what the students are like, and um, just what the atmosphere at the DA is like. In terms of advice, I would say the DA is right for someone who values the flexibility. It's a two-year, if you do the MICE program, two-year master's. In the first year, if you kind of accumulate your credits, in the second year, you have real flexibility and you can use it as kind of a springboard into a, into a career using internships. Um, or you can have a more relaxed year if you want to. But that the two-year masters I think offered here really gives you the opportunity to be to be flexible, particularly in the second year. I think that is very useful in the transition, which lots of people find difficult between further education and then work. The special ad advice I would give um, to prospective students, as well as those already studying here, is not only to 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 focus on the. The, 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 the academic uh, aspect of their studies. There, there's also a lot of events, uh, extra events happening on campus. We have uh, regularly have uh, uh, conferences. I would advise you to, to attend them as well. We have uh, the career uh, uh, seminars where you can learn uh, a lot how to, to draft your CV, uh, also how to apply, but also all the seminars related to how to avoid plagiarism because uh, sometimes it may happen that uh, uh, for during an exam uh, 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 some people may uh, be, uh, may face uh, um, uh, some issues related to plagiarism and it's important uh, to, to attend these events and seminars. My piece of advice would be to seize the opportunity to still be a student while you're, while you're here because you're going to have your whole life to work and now is your really time to, to still think um, and then apply that thinking to, to your work and this is what you should really, really also focus on. Don't try to only be invested in, in the work um, that you're going to have all the opportunity here to do 
but also try to remind yourself that you're still a student and, and seize that opportunity as well. Um, getting as much out of uh, the sources that we have here, you know, and trying to really think and to rethink, you know. You know, what is really, I mean, to, to ask yourself, what is really the, the, the role of the student, you know, in relation to the professor, you know, maybe the, prof maybe the role of the student in relation to the professor is that the professor knows and the role of the student is to think what the professor knows, right? And if to, over, to, to really think it so in a, in a sense of not denken and uber denken, then, then, you know, this is, this is, and this is the freedom that I'm speaking about, you know, we have the freedom to, you know, think. Mm. and rethink what the professor knows here and you know you have this opportunity and you can take it you know so if i had to focus on one specific piece of advice that i would give you is that as a second year not having a lot to do um, for courses new courses at the moment i would definitely suggest you to do as much as possible in the first year, specifically maybe in the second and third trimester, not only because they are the most interesting trimesters in terms of courses, of course, personal opinion, but I think other people will agree with me. Um, it's also because in the first trimester, I also think it's important to make friends and focus on, on the social life aspect of academia and not just on studies. Um, but then it really helped me a lot to have enough credits in the first year and work hard so that the second year can also be enjoyed in a bit more chill way. Um, meaning not that you have less to do overall, but it's also that since we have the thesis to write uh, and we might have language courses um, on the side, I find it very um, good for me to have a few courses right now and then next semester I will be able to focus mostly on the end of my program uh, and possibly have internship on the side. So I think um, yeah, other, other friends of mine have also taken this kind of approach and they're all quite happy at the moment to have a bit less to do compared to, to last year. So it's worth the struggle, trust me. The DA has brought me some great friends and um, people who have inspired me to think about doing different things in terms of my personal development and my career uh, and I've really learned a lot from the different people I've met here. I think what, what the DA has given me is an incredible opportunity to really take the time to think about what I'm interested in because the, the program is so flexible you really have a lot of room for trial and error. You can try out different courses and um, different um, try out writing about different topics, researching different things that might be interesting. And I think that's really given me the the space to think about what I want to do and to find out what I'm interested in. And it's great that you have a whole year before you have to think about your master's thesis to really, um, yeah on the one hand get a sort of solid background in terms of international affairs and how the international system works and also uh, to try out your own thing in the advanced courses and that that blend has really um, put me in a good position to write my master's thesis. I think the DA really has widened my horizons in various ways and in intellectual ways and uh, human ways, the connections you make, friendships you make, really teaches you um, not only about life but also about uh, not only about the career that you're aiming at but also about the uh, relations that you're going to build up and you know that these relations are going to, these connections you're making, they are life-lasting connections. In terms of what the DA has bought me, I think some good hard skills where I had blind spots before, um, particularly in subjects like economics. But I think languages is really useful. I um, hadn't really done languages very intensively or, or, or thoroughly before. So doing them every week um, has been really useful. And the opportunity to do essentially any foreign language you want to and either do it at the DA or, or have it refunded by the DA uh, after the course is, is really useful. Um, I would say that's one part of it, I'd say the other part is the connection with alumni and the career events um, 
are really useful because lots of the uh, the guests work in the Vienna in Vienna in the institutions in Vienna um, and that means if you're interested in that thing and most of us are um, then it creates a contact point with those with those people I think the diplomatic Academy um... Uh, has contributed a lot uh, since now I'm a student but also an intern with uh, the United Nations Industrial uh, Development Organization. I don't think uh, I could make it if I uh, was not studying here so the Diplomatic Academy has contributed in, in, in that way uh, and I, I, I can easily have ac access to international organizations since I'm in Vienna uh, I think this is one of the most important uh, points uh, I can I can mention regarding the contribution of the Diplomatic Academy to my career or uh, to, to my future career. I think that the DA has brought to me quite a lot. I mean, of course, on the academic side, there are uh, so many uh, good professors here that really give you lots of input and more often than not, they focus on very niche and new uh, areas of studies too. It's not just the usual things. Um, right now I'm taking a course on digital law and it's really um, futuristic. It's really trying to uh, explore what impact the internet and social media and other things have on society and the law that regulates um, this, uh, uh, these things. Um, so definitely, academically speaking, it, it is already worth it, obviously. Um, I would also say that the DA is quite career-oriented. Um, it provides plenty of occasions to have workshops or talks about potential careers that uh, we could take after our studies. Um, they do have a good uh, alumni uh, network and plenty of occasions for you to uh, improve your CV, for instance, uh, or go for internships, um, applications help. It's really um, trying to help you develop in the, into the working world. And then, of course, I mean, the social aspect of it. Uh, it's possibly the most important. I think I really, like the DA helped me to integrate um, into Vienna and helped me making great connections and great friendships that will last for a lifetime. So I think it was the best decision of my life to come here, not just academically, not just for my future prospects, but also, and possibly most important, for um, social interactions. That's been it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. There's also going to be a part two where more students will be interviewed. So if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, then uh, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel for more. Also share it with your friends or people you know might want to apply. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye bye.